Let's see guys, welcome back to Absolute Football and we are back with an SAA Super 8 Cup Final. Yes, no man, the MTN 8 Cup Final game between Cape Town City and Mamelodi Sundowns. That's how long Sundowns have gone without winning this competition. A game of possession made up of a combination of 1,176 passes. Cape Town City with 7 more passes to Sundowns. CT managed an 82% pass accuracy rate to 83% for Sundowns. However, Sundowns also had a better success rate with long balls, 45% to the 43% of CT. CT came to this game with an unchanged formation, 4-3-3, and an unchanged team from their last league game versus Golden Arrows. Sundowns just made the single change with Filakazi dropping out for Morena. On paper, you'd say Sundowns also stuck to their 4-3-3. Zwane looked to have a free roaming role. But before we break it down, kindly hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to Absolute Football and help us get to a thousand subscribers. City matched Sundowns in how they would set up and press without the ball. Classic 4-4-2, but in this case, Sundowns are building with a 3, 3v2, Jali or Rivaldo with the two centre-backs. Jali doesn't have any vertical passing options. With his exceptional passing range, he's able to hit one over the City high line for Shalulile or Kutumela to run onto. When CT got sucked in, Sundowns would smoothly play their way out with good 1-2 touch passing and combination play. Rivaldo receiving under pressure to quickly find Jali dropping between the lines, giving it back to River who finds Mudao on the wing to progress play and Sundowns are easily in the City half. Sundowns were being allowed a lot of room at the edge of the box on a number of occasions during transitions from defense to attack. Easy cutbacks to the space and just the lack of accuracy in punishing City. City did work as hard out of possession. They were not going to allow an easy build up from Sundowns. Onyango pressed and forced to go long. Sundowns were in a 4-4-2 out of possession, and this meant they were compact in the central area of the pitch, a benefit of the classic 4-4-2 defensively. This then forced the two city midfielders Mukeke and Nodada to drift into the wide areas to assist in the first phase of build-up. The Brazilians made it known early in the game that they would be relentlessly pressing City. Press trigger areas include pressing the opponent to a side of the pitch where their passing options become limited. Fasika falls for the pressing trigger and is rushed into passing and the pass goes straight to Kutumela in a dangerous area. When City did manage to bypass the first line of pressure, Mukeke would then receive in space and look to find a pass between the lines or find one of the full bags before attempting a long ball. Mukeke with time and space to pick a pass to Dove was unmarked and now look to find a man in the half space. The move ends with Onyango making a crucial save and Sundowns survive. Tinkler then tinkered with this system and brought on Mashiho would then allow City switch to a three-man backline with Mkize and Mashiho as wing backs. The front three were now going to be more narrow than before. This destabilized sundowns and City soon got the equalizer that led to extra time. This was a game Sundowns could have wrapped up early on, even before extra time and penalties. Credit to Tinkler for tinkering with this formation to get back into the game as it worked in his favor. 
Congratulations to Mamelodi Sundowns as they win their first MTNA trophy since the SAA Super 8. Over, overdue indeed. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Till next time. Cheers, guys.